Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got an actual unboxing to do. Look at that. It's a box. In here, I've got some inks and I've got a pen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it over two videos just so everything gets the proper amount of time that it needs without making the video too long. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the inks. They're by Diamine and they're from the Ink Event Calendar of 2019. Really looking forward to playing with these ones. Then next time, we'll unbox the pen. So join me now down on the mat. We'll take a look at the inks. I'll go away and swatch them. Then we'll look at the swatches. I'll do an ink sample on some Tomoe River paper and give you my thoughts on these inks. Welcome to the mat. Now the box is a little bit big to put under the camera. So what I've done is I've got that off to the side and I've already opened it. So let's jump in and take a look at the inks that are inside that box. So the first one comes wrapped up in this gorgeous bubble wrap. Loads of fun popping that later on. Let me just take these out. Now, one of the things I do like about Colt pens, they pack stuff really well for shipping. Here comes in that first ink. As we can see, it's in the blue ink vent. So that was from 2009. And this one is mulled wine. Let me just take it out of the box. Here we go. Mulled wine. I love the look of this color in the bottle. I love the bottles as well. I think they're a brilliant shape. I mean, I know you can't see it when I stand it up, but for it on its side, you've got these nice little raised legs. I'm going to have to try and work out a way of being able to keep this out on display, I think, because the bottles, they're just so nice. Either that, I'm going to have to use a lot of ink up very quickly so I can get an empty bottle out. But that's the first one. That's mulled wine. I'm just going to pop this to one side. There you are. Let me see if I can keep it in the camera. The second one. Again, it's Invent. This one is called Elf. There we go. Again, same shape bottle. I wasn't actually collecting inks or fountain pens in 2019 when this came out, so I wasn't able to actually do anything about the Invent calendar. But for this year, because I am doing that, I've got the 2021 Invent calendar on order. My plan is when it comes in, each day during December, I will open the relevant door and film it so we can actually see that on camera. And I'll do that every day. So in December, there's gonna be a daily video for the first 25 days. Just put that elf over there to one side. All right, I'll fetch in the second bag of inks. Here it is. Again, still in that bubble wrap. Let me unpack this one. Oh, I knocked that poor elf around. So my next ink, again, it's an ink vent ink. This time it's mistletoe. So a different green than what we're seeing in that elf. Let me just take the bottle out. Look at that. Already you can see where the elf is brighter. This has got a bit more of a subdued or, or duller look to it. Be interesting to see those when we get onto the cards. So there's the mistletoe. And the final one, here we go, Jack Frost. This is the one that I'm excited to see. This is the whole reason, to be honest, that I bought these because I've seen other reviewers with this ink and I've thought, wow, that looks nice. So when my wife said, it's time to start planning your inks for Christmas, I thought, well, I've got to get one of these. Now, the top of the net's a little bit sticky and inside the box, I do notice there's been a little bit of an ink leak. Not very much, but I'll have to give that a good clean up. I mean, I've already got the ink on my fingers. But anyway, this is Jack Frost. I'm not going to leave this one laid down for too long because if it's like what's in the box, I don't want ink all over my mat. Jack Frost looks really nice though. It's a blue ink, but with a really deep red sheen to it. So I'm looking forward to having a look at that one as well. Just stand these up. Just so, as I say with the Jack Frost, I don't want ink all over. I'm now going to step away from the computer for a while. And whilst I'm there, I'm going to swatch these inks and do a writing sample in some Tomoe River paper. So I can show you that in a few minutes. To do my swatching, I'm going to use these two tools. The first one, this is a Pirate Parallels with a six millimeter nib. So all I'm going to be doing with this is dipping it in the ink and then using that to draw the blots of color on my swatch cards. I'm also going to use this this is a serendipity pen. It's got a broad nib on it 
and I'll use that for doing my writing sample and also for writing the names of the inks on the card. Just thought I'd share that with you just so you know what I've used when I come back. I'll be back in a few minutes, but for you, it's just going to be a slide on the screen. So here I am back. So our first ink is going to be Jack Frost. This is the most expensive of the inks we're going to be looking at. This cost $18.35, but that's for a 50 ml bottle. So although not cheap, it's not actually that expensive. Fetching the swatch card, as we can see here, it's a lovely blue color for the base. This little swatch at the end, I just did one single pass on that. Whereas the bulk of it, that gets two or three passes so that I can fetch out all that sheen and all that shimmer. But just look at that. Look at the gorgeous blue. Then the sheen. Now I'm going to say it's red. It's a red sheen, but it looks purple to my eye. When you're sat on top of blue, red and blue will give you a roughly purple color. I think it looks really interesting. I mean, I don't know how well it comes over in the camera, but it even looks pink at the moment. Such a nice shiny color there. Really looking forward to getting this one into a pen. I'm just going to fetch in some of my other swatches so we can have a comparison. Strangely enough, all the comparisons we're going to look at with this one, they're all actually die minings. The first one is Cold Pens Little Chris. So although it's called Cold Pens, it's actually made by die mine. And that's really showing up that sheen on there. This is another one. It's really nice, but it's a darker blue. It's like a blue black for the background. The other comparison I'm going to fetch in again is cult pens and this is Little Mo. Now to me, the background on this is moving more towards the purple end of blue. But again, we've got that gorgeous sheen, which really does mimic what I see in Jack Frost. Let me see if I can get them to both move at the same time. You know, it looks like that shimmer, that sheen. It looks like that's very similar color. But this is the Dimine Jack Frost. Ink number two is Elf. Very Christmassy name, isn't it, Elf? Here's the swatch tag coming in. So this to me is a nice, deep, dark green color. In my mind's eye, I see the Elf color, which is what you think about the clothes that Elves wear when you see them on TV, as not being as deep or dark. But that's fine. I can understand where they're coming from with the name. And actually, when you see the writing, it is slightly lighter than what I see on this swatch. Because again, I do go quite heavy with the ink when I'm doing the swatches. But the lovely colour. $13.35 for this. Again, for a 50ml bottle. We're fetching my comparisons. Again, strangely enough, they're all dye mine. The first one I'm going to fetch in is dye mine Sherwood Green. So to me, this is slightly lighter. It's a paler green, but only just. I mean, if I was pushed and didn't know better, I'd actually say they were virtually the same colour. Slightly darker is Diamine Delaware Green. Again, lovely green color. Where I've got the single swipes here, you can just see it does actually appear a little bit paler, but where I've been able to put the ink on a little bit thicker, that's where we get this slightly darker color coming through. And then my final one, I'll pop that here, Diamine Beethoven, part of the music series. Again, a little bit darker again than that Delaware, but where we see where I've got that single pass, that does match quite closely with the elf where I've managed to get a single pass. So yeah, a nice green that again, looking forward to getting that into a pen. So this is Diamine Elf. Ink number three. Staying with that green family. Diamine Mistletoe. So to me, this is more, it's going to sound weird when I say this, an earthy green. So it's what I expect when you're out for a hike and you see the moss and the lichen on rocks. This is more of that green that comes to my mind. So it's got more of that muted tone. Still really nice though, still a nice green. But it's nice to have a contrast to that really bright green or deep greens that I often use. My comparisons to this, well, surprise, surprise, it's a troublemaker ink. We've got a different ink other than dye mine. This one is Troublemaker Seagrass. I know it's definitely paler, but I can still see the earthy tones in there. To me, I can see where there's some similarities. I don't have many inks similar to that mistletoe colour, which is why I thought, well, at least this gives a difference. There's a little bit of a sheen to that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. My other comparison ink is by Robert Oster this time and it's Robert Oster Moss. Definitely closer in color. I think the Robert Oster Moss, especially when it's layered on, 
is slightly darker but if we look around the edges where I've just got them single passes it's slightly more muted let me fetch that in I don't know I, I can't see it on my camera view there we go so yeah as you can see here more muted around the edges here but still a nice close match so this one is diamine mistletoe the final link but well, by default since we've looked at all the others it could only be diamine mulled wine to me diamine makes some really nice wine colored inks let me fetch in a card for this one this is a really nice i'm gonna call it a dark crimson color i really like the look of this but i like a look of a number of the diamine inks that are in this same family no sheen to it it's but it's not flat as you can see we've got some paler parts and we've got some darker parts this is when i'm interested when i get it in a pen if there's any shading come through because some of my other diamond inks in this wine type family some have got some really interesting shading but others well they just look a little bit flat to me got some comparisons though for it so the first one i'm going to fetch in is diamond syrah again part of that wine family I would say that the mulled wine is a little bit of a deeper colour. A little bit more of the brown in the Syrah, but in the mulled wine, a bit more of the red. Staying with the Diamine family, I'm going to fetch in Writer's Blood. Again, this is more pink, whereas the mulled wine is more red. But again, there's a lot of similarity to my eye with this. The final ink I'm going to fetch in is an interesting one. It's by Ancient Song, and sometimes called Ancient Charm. This is a Chinese ink and it's called Wanderer's Song. Let me just move that them two out of the way so we can get a better look at the two together. Based colour wise, I would say it's very, very similar. Maybe slightly paler in parts with the Ancient Song ink. But what the Ancient Song ink has is look at that gold sheen there. That to me is what makes this ink. So, yep, yeah, the Diamond Mulled Wine. Looking forward to getting that one into a pen because, as I say, I want to see if there's any interesting shading coming through when I'm writing with it. So this is Diamine Mulled Wine. Just going to fetch in my endless recorder notepad. Here we go. Now let's open that up. So what I've done is I've just done a very quick writing test with each of the inks. So the Jack Frost. Let me move that slightly. Can you see there? Hopefully it comes over on the camera. It's got this gorgeous red sheen in virtually every letter. I did some quick drying time tests. So I left it for 10 seconds and then I'll leave it for one minute. All of the inks, if we look at it, they're all fairly wet still after a minute. But what we need to take into account is I was using a broad nib. This is 68 GSM Tomo River paper, so not the best for ink soaking in. But I would have expected this to be a little bit more drier. You know, when I when I think about some of the other inks that I've used. So it's nice to know. The downside of it is I kind of struggle to use some of these for taking long form notes. But yeah, look at that gorgeous blue. Can I get the sheen to come through? I can't actually see. Oh yeah, there we go. That beautiful red sheen coming through there. The Diamine Inkvent Blue with the Elf. This is what I was saying when we looked at the card. In my writing sample, it's definitely a little bit brighter. Not a lot of shading coming through. I can see little tiny bits, maybe there at the top of the B, part of the F. But other than that, I really struggle to see much in the way of shading. But I get I, but I've dipped it. It could still be that it's fairly wet on the nib. So when I've got in a real pen in real world situations, we'll see what it's like then. The mistletoe. I love the name of this. I'll have to I'll have to see if I can con the wife into getting a kiss by holding it over. I really like this. Nice colouring. Again, little bits of shading coming through. Not that much, but again, could be the same reason as I'm seeing with the elf. Then finally, the mulled wine. This on paper, when I'm looking at it, it looks a little bit more pink to me than when I had it on the swatch card. But again, I can see shading coming through. Look at the on the E there, the E there, the D. First few words, first couple of words are fairly dark. But again, I'd just dip to the pen. So it could be that it was still fairly wet. Like with the other ones, not a quick drying ink. So I'm just going to fetch all the swatch cards back in. So we've got Jack Frost, a Trixie Elf. That romantic mistletoe and the gorgeous 
mulled wine. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got any of these inks? What are your thoughts on them? Are there any other inks from that 2019 ink vent calendar that you think it might be worth me looking at? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kick start the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment. Well, it just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.